Wow, bloody here. Guys, we're at that time of year when you're burning stuff and you realize you don't have enough kindling. Well, <laughs> I don't have enough kindling. Stay tuned. Yes, guys, kindling. I have all these old fence boards. I'm going to show you how I do kindling, guys, and I always do it with scrap wood, you know? I'm hoping this will work out. Fingers crossed if it does. I need to change the depth. When it comes to kindling, scrap wood is your friend. Always. Don't fall. Good catch. Some need more persuading than others. end up with one random one like that. Let's take him over. Let's make kindling. Radio do. <coughs> hey Bruno. Nah. Chuck it straight into the wheelbarrow so there's less handling. These bits can be handy because it's got this little bit on it which holds it for you. Yeah, I just bought it.
sometimes they just go ping, 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 and all is right with the world. And sometimes they just don't. Sometimes you're dealing with knobs and look, look at that, look. Now, if you're worried about your little fingies, take another stick, hold it. Especially if it's cold, that one has a big knot in it anyway. I knew I kept this for a reason. Okay, sometimes it's nice to put a block in it, in your chopping block. Now my chopping block's really high anyway, but by putting a block into the chopping block, it lifts everything up. That means for these smaller ones, I'm not bending over as much. Some of this stuff is terrible. But guys, if it's not working for you, flip it over. There you have it. That'll keep me going for a couple of months. And this is all scrap wood. That somebody was going to throw out. Thanks for watching guys. I really made that look difficult, didn't I? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay frosty.